I decided to review this because I have never actually seen anyone else, um, not review it, but do a flip through. I haven't seen any reviews. I haven't seen any flip throughs. Hi friends, my name is Davine and I just wanted to get on here and do a flip through of a new curriculum that I just purchased. I just purchased this actually for next year. I do really like to do research and look ahead and see what I'm thinking about for the next year, even as this year is going. I wanted to do a flip through here because I have never seen anyone else do a flip through of this curriculum. So this is Guest Hollows actions and reactions and it is a grade school introduction to chemistry and physics and my kids right now are in third fourth fifth and sixth grade and they're going to be in fourth fifth sixth and seventh grade next year and i thought this just would be perfect for all of them to do together and now that i've purchased it and i've looked inside i am very excited to be starting to use this curriculum next year so i thought i'd just get on here and give you a flip through just so that you can see what's inside so that maybe when you're thinking about next year or future years it might be something you might be interested in. I have not heard too much about Guest Hollow before this. I have heard it once in a while in other reviews but I haven't the reason why I actually went looking was I got really excited when I saw a review about their chemistry in the kitchen for high school students but I am not there yet so when I was looking at their the products that they offer I saw this one and I started looking into it and it looked exactly like the type of curriculum that we like to use. So I thought I would get it and print it off and just start so that I can plan for next year. So like I said, just a little bit about myself. I have two nine-year-old boys, a 10-year-old girl and a 12-year-old girl. So when you purchase this product, you will get, um, it's a PDF download. And they also give you an editable version so you can edit what's inside. Um, so you can decide beforehand what you wanna do and what you don't wanna do and print off what you would like. Um, I just went ahead and printed off the whole thing as is. So what you see here is what you get without editing. So once again, I said this is for grades one to six, but I'm going to be using it for my students in fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh grade in next year and actually I plan on spending two years on this curriculum because it is covering chemistry and physics and there are so many activities in here I don't I'd rather just go slowly and take our time and do as much of it as possible and go as depth in depth as possible and not uh, skip out on some things also um, our current curriculum I don't think we'll be finishing it this year so we'll be finishing off a biology unit that we're or biology curriculum that we're doing and then we'll just get started on this once we finish that one off when you open up to the first page it has a bit about the curriculum it's about how you probably won't be able to get through everything they try to they say they give you a buffet of options and you'll want to pick and choose what's going to work for you so you don't need to try to do everything you want to just see what's going to work for your family so they also give you a checklist. They tell you some links on how to use their curriculum. So you can always see that on their own website. There's Facebook groups that you can join. And when you have this online, any of these links are clickable, click, clickable links. So all these links that you see here, if you have it on your computer, you'll be able to click and go directly to the location there. Okay, so that's just the introduction here. And then they have um, the books, book and resource list. And so they tell you everything that you're going to need to purchase to go along with this curriculum. So basically, like I said, this is, I think it was $25 for the curriculum um, overview. And they tell you what you need. I actually have looked up a lot of these books in my library and my library does have a lot of them. And if, I just discovered where in my library I could request books. So if there's books that you can't find at your library, I think many libraries have that where you can request a book. So, so if you didn't want to purchase these books, you could go ahead and get them from the library, but they have a place here. You can indicate if you're going to buy it, you're going to borrow from the library, you're going to use an ebook or an audiobook or whatever you can find. So the main, actually, okay, so I'm just going to go through here actually. and. So there's the book list here, all the books that you'll need. 
or not even need that you might choose to use. You might choose not to use some of these. And some of these, they do tell you if it's for younger students. So here she says for younger students and then here for older students. So with my kids, since they are older, I will choose to use that one instead of that one. And I will just skip the younger, younger student books. They also have some movie recommendations that you could do. You could watch to make it more interesting. Some supplies and the links lead you directly to where you could purchase those. Okay, and so then here is the first week and they show this on the website, so I don't think I'm giving away anything I'm not supposed to. Um, so here's week one. And so there is actually a main text and that is exploring creation with chemistry. And that is Apologia's Young Explorer series. So I actually have that here. I purchased that because I knew that I would be needing this one for sure. But and I wanted to have it on hand. I can't get this from the library. So Exploring Creation is, is with chemistry and physics. And this is for, I believe, K to six or 12 or one to six Apologia curriculum. So they will plan out what you want to do each day. So for example, day one, read 15 through 17, the intro into the beginning, forming the world, everything that matters everything matters and then the try this activity so i'm just going to give you to show you an example of a day of reading so page 15 so we'd read the introduction we'd read over here in the beginning forming the world everything matters and then do the try this experiment and next in the day, they suggest that you get Archimedes and the Door of Science and that you read chapters one and two. And if you have a timeline, you could put that on your timeline. And then I think there's nothing there for Monday. And then over here, they have links to some notebooking pages. If you're interested in doing some notebooking pages with your students about Ar Archimedes. And then there's an Archimedes cursive, cursive, copy works, right? A little shaky here as I adjust. And then that would be it for day one. So then on day two, you would read a few more pages in the science textbook. You would do an experiment. You would read chapters three to four in Archimedes. Um, and then they have this suggestion for literature. And that's what floats in a moat. And you could just click here and it will lead you directly to a YouTube reading of this book. So I chose not to get this book because I can just watch it online right here. So then day two, if you wanted to continue with your notebooking pages, you could do that. And then here's another click, a clickable link that, that you could find out about how he found out elephants weight by using the principle of buoyancy. Day three. So as you can see, it, there's a lot in each day. I feel like there's a lot of different activities throughout the week, a good variety. Um, I'm pretty sure with my family, we might just be able to get through this in one day, and then we might spend the next day doing these over here. Um, so I feel like there is, there are a lot of activities here. Um, we will have no issue with taking probably two days to complete each day worth of work. In our family, we like shorter lessons and we are not going to sit around for 40, 45 minutes doing science. Like 30 minutes is kind of our max for most subjects. I can see ourselves doing one day, maybe, maybe taking one day to do this and maybe doing one of the links and then the next day doing the reading and doing another link. So what I really like about this curriculum is the literature component. Um, yeah, just adding literature to science and the books look really good. All the books that I've seen, there's a variety of chapter books and picture books. And I think it's just going to be a great way for my students to really understand chemistry and physics. And so there are 32 weeks worth of, of curriculum here. And every week is it actually looks like it gets even more and more detailed as you go. The first week is probably actually a lighter week. So I feel like there's plenty to do. And I'm really excited about this. I'm really glad I went ahead and purchased it. I am very sure that we will be doing this next year. And I just like to get my curriculum ahead of time so I can start thinking and planning. I like to line up as much as I can. 
in my planning. So yeah, I'm excited about this. Please feel free to ask me any questions you would like about this curriculum. Um, I will try to make a review when we're once we start using it, probably sometime next year. I hope you enjoyed that flip through of Actions and Reactions by Guest Hollow. I have more pieces of curriculum that I would like to do flip throughs for you. So please like and subscribe so that you can see the new ones coming up. Um, thank you and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.